Hello, welcome back. Uh, something slightly different because the petition to save egg loicillin common is now up. I'm giving you some information about it, why you should be concerned. Uh, it's just one of many hills in Wales that's going to be destroyed in this way for what's basically a wind power station. All the cabling and disruption, everything goes on with that. Okay, just give you, here's the petition. So, Meg, money of egg loicillin, so that's the hillside. And the other side, Kevin Eglocillin, because it's the Pontypri Kilvanith side as well as over the St. Genneth side. Okay, so the link is in the description. You can sign on there, no problem at all. So if you look on here, I'll just read out quickly. You're only allowed so many words, so I couldn't mention everything about it potentially being a former Welsh cap capital, you know, capital of Wales. It's also the leper colony. There's buried churches, there's stacks of stuff, but this is what we're allowed to get on, okay? So we call on the Welsh Government to formally recognise, that's the main thing, please recognise it, the archaeological, historic and prehistoric environment of Eglocillon. There is a wealth of important sites that date back to at least the Bronze Age, including prehistoric burial cysts and ancient rock art. There's also a major settlement and large zodiac map marked out in major stones. The concern is that proposed wind farm will cause irreparable damage. And the famous dikes, St. Genneth dikes, world famous, are scheduled. So they should be protected. They shouldn't be touched. But we think that the, the power cables will have to go through them and probably the road as well. I've asked and asked the developers to give me details of where the roads and the cabling is going. I still haven't had an, had an answer. Right, so we've got the standing, we've got recumbent stones, all these things. There's a couple of links. Some of them are scheduled and recognised, so they should be protected. Nothing seems to be happening. The standing stones, and we're doing more because this could be the centre of a star map. So where the stones are is very, very, very important. You can't just move them or knock them about a bit, right? Because the, the location is how we work out the mapping and their significance. Oh, it's nice signatures. Let me just put this up. I haven't even asked anyone yet. Right, what I want to show, though, is the cost. You say, well, you know, it's a small price to pay to save my children and all that kind of stuff. Well, I'm a parent. I'm a father. I've got three boys, okay? And I care about the planet. I don't want it destroyed. So let's see what difference we're talking about. I'm not going to go into the argument about whether or not CO2 does actually affect the climate at all. We'll forget that, all right? Or the fact that CO2 is only like 0.04% of the entitled environment is so tiny as to be negligible. We're going to assume all is correct. The science is correct, CO2 is a problem, or whatever, right? Whether or not there's global warming or climate change or extreme weather. Right, so what we're going to do, though, is just talk about the contribution that Wales makes, and, well, and Britain, in fact, and also what this difference this uh, wind uh, power station up on the hill is going to make. So I've done a thousand turbines. <laughs> a thousand, you can count them, little blocks of five, ten, so it's fifty, hundred. It's a thousand, okay? Right, so you look at all these. Uh, so if a hundred represents... Uh, one of a hundred is one percent, so one of a thousand is 0.1 percent. All right, because these numbers get so well tiny, actually, so huge or so tiny, human brain can't cope. So let's do it with pictures. All right, so let's look. So CO2 emissions by country searches yourself. That's all I've done on Google search the Worldometer. Uh, whereas Britain, oh, we're actually in the top eight. So China is the big problem. United States, India, as you'd expect. Oh, there's United Kingdom lurking down in position 17. One percent, all right, plus three thousandth. We'll, we'll round up somewhere else a bit later. Let's go one percent, all right, near enough, okay? So one percent, one in a hundred. So that's the equivalent of these thousand here of ten of these little things, right? Ten of these represents one percent. So let's look at Wales. And if we look as of official figures, Wales, 2019, was like the last last big count um it's about 4.7 percent we'll round that up to five percent all right to even out those couple of thousands that we added on so five percent if you remember the old pounds shillings and pence <laughs> uh, a, a five percent is one twentieth all right so you're talking one out of 20. okay that's what that means so if we go back to this now if you remember the uk was responsible for 10 of these little wind turbines. So 1 20th of that is half a turbine. So this gives you a rough idea of what Wales' contribution is out of uh, the, the human contribution to annual CO2. So already it's pretty tiny, especially when you consider that uh, China's bringing on a whole fleet. The news yesterday was 23 new coal-fired power stations, which will wipe out Anything's going to be achieved 
by the wind farms. I'm not even going to go into the fact that the, the concrete, the cement has to be made in China. It's very polluting. It gets shipped halfway around the world. The pylons are made of steel, which requires enormous amounts of energy to make them. And then you've got to ship them. And after the only last 20 years, these, just so you know, the turbines, at which point they usually get landfilled. The, the blades particularly have got uh, stuff in them which cannot be recycled. So it's actually creating pollution. The, the net saving, I would say, once you put in the costs of transport and manufacture and erecting and disposal, it might be zero. But anyway, let's assume they work, all right? So what we're looking at now is the next thing to do is what percentage of CO2 is what I typed in is actually produced by human activity, anthropogenic as they call it. So if you look at this year, 95% uh, comes from, I'm not going to go into the rest, <laughs> because it explains how tiny the CO2 is only 0 .4, 0 0.4, not 0 0.4, 0 0.04, so it's four thousandths of uh, us. Anyway, just, just look, I'm going to ignore that, all right? We're just going to go with the fact that 95% comes from natural sources. So if 95% natural, only 5% is human activity. So we're back to this 1 in 20 figure again. So remember we had a thousand turbines to show the world's CO2 production. Uh, the human, the total then we've got to times that by 20. So there, that's what 20,000 looks like. All right. <laughs> and the total contribution for Wales, if you look really, really, really closely, I have coloured in half of one of these turbines down there. Right? I should have a zoom or something. That's the difference, the whole of Wales. If the whole of Wales just stopped everything, stopped living, because everything you breathe, you produce CO2. Um, every dog, cat, producing it, all right? So if we stopped completely, never cooked, drove, made anything, went anywhere, or breathed, just depopulated it, that's how much difference we make in half of one of these 20,000 uh, turbines. <laughs> and this particular hill, the contribution that's going to make to the national, maybe 1%, half a percent, so you could times this by 20 again. So you can imagine 20 of these, 400,000 of these things. And uh, <laughs> we're knocking down half of one. So there you go. That's, uh, that's the return, if you like, the return on this devastation and losing such a crucial, crucial part of our history. Never mind the landscape, the environment, the horrible noise they make, the fact that they do catch fire now and again, they have accidents, there's deaths every year from maintaining them, they use up tons of oil, ah, the list goes on, rare metals, gases, the slaughtering of birds that they do, they reckon there's 30 million bats and 20 million uh, birds killed last year in America alone by the turbines. So really, this is a disaster. And I urge you, urge you, urge you, please sign the petition and share this video and share the petition details to get as many people as possible before it's too late. Because while the turbines only last for 20 years, the millions of tons of concrete they pour into the ground and those paths and the destruction last forever. So, all right, so there you go. We have a sobering one, but let's, we can try and do something. At least, at least for this petition, at least it gets officially recognize and no one can turn around after and say we had no idea they do have an idea i want it in writing an acknowledgement we are aware of it whether they go ahead or not all right so peace to everyone till next time hello